Have you ever dreamed of owning a home or condo in Whistler where you can truly ski right in and out of your property with little to no walking? In this video, I'm going to show you the only three areas of Whistler where you can ski right to the door of your home or condo. Maybe you've looked around online, but trying to figure out where the actual ski in ski out Whistler neighborhoods are is challenging. So I'll take you on a tour right now. Up first, of course, is Blackcomb Benchlands. If you've ever skied down to the base of Blackcomb, you've likely seen all the condos and townhomes on your right, just before you get to the bottom. The properties like the Aspens, Wood Run, and Painted Cliff are right on the ski slope, so you can obviously ski right to the front door. There are, however, other condo and townhome buildings just one or two streets back from the slope that are easy to walk to. Just three to five minutes and you're there. And if it's a huge snow day, you can usually just glide down the side of the street on your skis, making them actual ski-in properties on big storm days. Blackcomb Benchlands also features a hidden street of luxury homes called Horstman Lane. This street has ski-in access from Blackcomb's Home Run Ski Trail, allowing you to ski right into your backyard. However, you can't ski back out on that trail. Up next, we've got the base zone coming into Whistler Village from both Blackcomb and Whistler Mountains. Here, you're gonna find the townhomes at Snowy Creek, Cedar Ridge, Cedar Hollow, Summit Lane, and Pinnacle Ridge. And of course, you've got all the hotel condos right at the base in Whistler Village, such as the Carlton Lodge, the Pan Pacific Mountainside, the Weston, and the Hilton. And don't forget about the ski in, ski out townhomes at Telemark and Northern Lights, just above the Weston. Lastly, we have the Whistler Creekside Zone. This is the original Whistler Mountain base from back in the 1960s. Clustered around the Creekside Gondola, you've got Creekside Village, which features a massive underground day skier parking garage with a small funky shopping village on the upper level. Here you're gonna find quarter share properties such as the Legends and Evolution, as well as full ownership properties like First Tracks Lodge, Lake Placid Lodge, and good old Gondola Village. Above Creekside, you can ski into such properties as Snow Ridge Crescent, Snow Ridge Townhomes, Taliswood, and the gorgeous one-tenth fractional ownership properties at Nature's Door. Now, definitely worth mentioning is the luxury home neighborhood of Cadenwood, which is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in Whistler and is located up the mountain from Creekside on the southern slopes of Whistler Mountain. The spectacular homes at Cadenwood have a network of dedicated ski trails feeding right into them from the Peak to Creek trail system just above Whistler Creekside. Not only that, but Cadenwood has its own private gondola taking residents back up to the neighborhood after skiing down to Whistler Creekside. You have to admit, it's pretty sweet to be able to jump on your own private gondola after a sunny apres ski session of cocktails and snacks on the deck at Dusty's Bar at Creekside Base. Now, as with all the neighborhoods on this list, if you've got the budget, you've got to be ready to jump when a home or condo in one of them comes on the market. To be notified when any properties come up for sale in these Whistler Ski In, Ski Out neighborhoods, hit the link in the description below to sign up for my weekly email newsletter, Whistler Friday Morning Coffee. It's a quick email with all the week's latest listings, sold, and price changes for Whistler, along with my market insights so you can make smart choices. Now, if you wanna keep watching more great videos, I've got a playlist right here. And if you never wanna miss another, just subscribe.